drums, big guitars. Um, everything you can imagine on here. The anthems. Uh, you know, what can you say? Detroit Rock City is probably, you know, the song when you say, what does Kiss sound like? That's Kiss. Um, Beth was a big hit on this album. This album didn't actually do well when it first came out because the Kiss fans of the first three albums were kind of like, what is this? It's, you know, overproduced. It's got some power pop on here. Um, probably still my favorite Kiss album. Beth was a hit and sort of got the album rolling again. Um, you know, what can you say? Most people put this in their top five. It's in my probably top three Kiss albums of all time. So there you go. There's my rankings. And I just didn't want to pass this up by, again, talking about the two great live albums during this era, Alive and Alive 2. Side 4 of Alive 2 has five new studio tracks, actually. Three of them are really good. Uh, Larger Than Life, All-American Man, and Rocket Ride from Ace. So this is definitely worth picking up. And of course, Alive, which I've already discussed. Real quick, wanted to talk about the two compilations they released during this era. Double Platinum. Um, came out in 78 before the solo album. So it's the songs from the first six albums. It does have a new studio track, though. It's a re-recording of Strutter called Strutter 78. I had this album first before the first studio album. So to me, this was the studio album. And it sounds closer to the Alive version. So I quite like that. And it's also got a historical significance because it's probably one of the last studio tracks that was recorded by all four studio members and also again i had talked about the bad production of hotter than hell this album has a lot of remixes and they remixed a couple songs from hotter than hell on here and they sound great i wish they the guy sean delaney who had done this had done the whole album but uh this is definitely worth picking up and there's kiss killers this was a europe only release uh this is from germany as you can see, the Ultra logo, because they weren't allowed to use the SS logo in Germany. Four new tracks on here. I'm a Legend Tonight, Down on Your Knees, uh, Nowhere to Run, and Partners in Crime. Part, uh, I'm a Legend Tonight, Nowhere to Run are really good tracks. All four are sung by Paul. Ace doesn't play on any of them. Bob Kulik plays the lead guitar on them. Um, has a lot of their other hits on here. So Euro and actually Asia, Asia, Europe, everywhere released this in the United States. You know, it was an import, but during the 80s and 90s, I saw this album in every record store I've ever went to, so how it's considered an import, I don't know. I guess it just wasn't printed in uh, the United States. But it's definitely worth picking up for those tracks. So there you go. Uh, that's my rankings of the Kiss albums from 74 to 82. During this week, I hope to have the second part up here from Lick It Up to Present. Uh... So let me know what your either top five or maybe your rank rankings from the first album through Creatures. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. Thanks a lot.